The Rookie Season 6 brought many changes in its characters' lives, and the cast of the show also don't fall behind. Watch this video to learn which cast member secretly remarried, find out who's going to become a mom for the third time, and why Nathan Fillion is still single. That's what we call movie magic, folks. Melissa O'Neill as Lucy Chen. Lucy and Tim are a fan-favorite pairing of the show, but their slow-burn romance wasn't initially intended to be part of the series. It was the duo's chemistry and fans' following that led to Chenford fall in love. However, O'Neill also blames Eric Winter for it. Uh, but I will say, I have to give credit to Eric. He really planted the seed for this from the very, very beginning, including the hashtag. In real life, though, the two are not an item, but just colleagues and good friends. Melissa even guested Eric's podcast. There, the actress mentioned that she was engaged around the time she moved to Los Angeles. Looking through her Instagram page, we actually can see a ring on her ring finger. However, later it cannot be spotted on her posts again. So we may conclude that the relationship ended. Obviously, Melissa prefers to keep her love life private. Still, there's one handsome guy to often appeared on her social media, her brother. The two are very close and love to travel and go hiking together. Now, let's move on to O'Neill's on-screen partner. Eric Winter as Tim Bradford. Strict, tough, and demanding on screen, Winter is a loving husband and father in real life. Eric and actress Rosalind Sanchez met back in 2005 at a party in Los Angeles. At the time, Winter has just split from his first wife, Allison Ford, but he was so charmed by Rosalind that they started dating almost immediately. And two years later, the actor popped the question. As a true romantic, he proposed during a kayaking adventure in a bioluminescent bay. Sanchez said yes. Eric was happy, of course, but hilariously, he had other things on his mind. I was petrified she would drop the ring. It never left the box. She accepted. I shut the box and told her she could see it again on land. Winter and Sanchez said I do in 2008. Now they share two children, daughter Sabella and son Dylan. Eric and Rosalind keep themselves busy. They published their children's book, CB and the Land of Cha Cha Cha, work together on several projects, and are hosting their weekly podcast titled, He Said, Ella Dijo. And they seize every chance to find humor in life. We're married to Latinas. When we go out, we know she's gonna be in a dress and stilettos while we're underdressed. Next, let's move on to the actor behind Sergeant Gray, Richard T. Jones as Wade Gray. On The Rookie, the actor plays a moral compass on the team. But in real life, Richard recently made his fans scratch their heads, wondering if he was cheating on his wife. Jones has been married to Nancy for a quarter of a century. They have four children together, and Richard often shared words of love and admiration for his wife on social media. However, in late 2023, the actor posted several pictures with another woman. In the first image, Richard has an arm wrapped around his real-life leading lady as they both smile for the camera. The caption read, I love my beautiful wife. Thanks for loving me, Chris. You're my heart. The second post showed the two lovingly gazing into each other's eyes and was captioned, Christy Jones blesses my heart daily, y'all. Love me some her. The two have also appeared at public events together. After some digging, it was revealed that Nancy Jones filed to divorce the actor in 2021. So he apparently got remarried since then. But the burning question remains, who is Richard's new wife and how did they meet? Her IMDb page says she's a makeup and special effects artist. Moreover, Christy and her now husband are the co-founders of an independent production company. Next, let's find out what's going on in the personal life of yet another rookie star. Alyssa Diaz as Angela Lopez. The rookie fans definitely remember Angela's empowering storyline in season three. Then she continued working as a detective while pregnant. And the fact that Alyssa was expecting in real life made the whole thing even more special. It resonated with many women in the workplace who have had to walk that line. Diaz revealed that she's got an immense respect for those women, and it was a bit awkward for her to sometimes be mistaken for a real police officer. We were on Hollywood Boulevard and had to use the bathroom really bad. Yeah. So I was running down the street and then running into like the store, like looking for the bathroom and people were like, what's going on? Opening the door for me, ma'am, yes, you know, whatever you need. But not everyone is convinced that easily. And then when I came out of the bathroom, there were two cops sitting, having like dinner or something. And they're like, hey, are you an actress? I go, I am. Elisa welcomed her son in December 2020. 
Amazingly, it happened the same day she got engaged the previous year. Her boyfriend, singer and songwriter Gustavo Galindo, shared the happy news on his Instagram. 2020 has been quite a ride. It started in Hawaii with an engagement and ended with a beautiful baby boy. But Diaz wasn't the only actress who got pregnant while working on The Rookie. Mekia Cox as Nyla Harper. A mother of two on screen, Cox also has two daughters in real life. There's exactly a lot of right. um, mom cop action. That's right. Mom cops. Mom cops. This. Yeah. yeah. All of that. Yeah. Mekia is married to basketball analyst Britt Leach. The couple wed 2018, and their nuptials were nothing short of a colorful, Caribbean inspired celebration, all in accordance with the bride's background. Cox explained that being from the islands is a large part of who she is, so she wanted to be able to incorporate that into her special day. The actress welcomed her first daughter the same year, and the second girl was born in 2022. This time, it was written into the storyline of Detective Harper. Happy to be on a show where pregnancy is acknowledged and celebrated, tweeted the actress. Amazingly, there's yet another actress who was filming the show while with child. Jenna Dewan as Bailey Noon. Let's start with the biggest news right away. Jenna is going to have a baby number three any day soon. The actress and her fiancé, Steve Kazee, already have a son, Callum, who is now four years old. Callum also yes, loves a fire truck. loves a fire truck. He doesn't know that I play a firefighter yet. Jenna is also a mother to a 10-years-old Everly, whom she co-parents with her ex-husband, Channing Tatum. So why Doohan and Steve are not married yet? They've been engaged since 2020. I know, we've been engaged forever. The actress explained that many things happened since then. First of all, there was a pandemic. That's why they kept pushing this day. But now they are finally setting the date and getting it going. But I believe the timing is right. It's, I think maybe baby number three had to be here for the whole family yeah. complete. It it's always works out that way. I believe in divine timing. Jenna also shared her first picks for officiants for the wedding, which are Oprah Winfrey and RuPaul. And if either of them said yes, she would set a date tomorrow. Up next, we're going to talk about an actor whom you might confuse for his twin brother. Sean Ashmore as Wesley Evers. This actor has been married to his wife, Dana, for more than a decade now. They first met in 2010 on the set of the thriller Frozen. Dana was an assistant director and Sean played the lead role. Ashmore revealed that he and Dana were engaged after one year of dating. I just got down on my knee on the couch in our living room and just proposed. She was shocked and she obviously said yes and it was amazing. They tied the knot two years later. Their son Oliver turned seven this year and his best friends are his cousins, daughters of Aaron Ashmore. Sean and Aaron are identical twins. So don't forget, Sean was on the X-Men while Aaron on Ginny and Georgia and Killjoys. And finally, let's talk about the love life of the show's lead. Nathan Fillion as John Nolan. Now married on The Rookie, the 53-year-old actor is still single in real life. Nathan once shared that he's in touch with about 90% of his exes. He admitted, They would describe me as being unlucky in love. Incredibly. But maybe there's a reason why Fillion hasn't found his special lady yet. And it was best described by his mother. Here's your advantage. You, you're, you're very geeky, but you look mainstream. Nathan has been linked to many fellow actresses over the years. He was reportedly engaged to Vanessa Marcille, Michaela Hoover, and Christina Ochoa. The actor also dated Perry Reeves and Felicia Day. His most publicized relationship so far was with Krista Allen, whom he met on the set of Castle. Things seemed to have a great start. They frequently attended Hollywood events together. A source close to Allen revealed that Fillion even met her son, and they got along. Sadly, the two reportedly split around 2020. Since then, Nathan hasn't been spotted with anyone and seems to be single. But we sincerely hope that one happy day, he'll say those sweet words in real life. And I promise that making you happy will be my every day, everything. Thanks for watching. And check out our other videos about your favorite shows. Stay awesome.